at sycophantic mode gives us your most awkward encounter. What's your most awkward encounter? Uh, I think all of us have a big list. <laughs> yeah, what's the most recent one? I, think. I have one that this is not my most, but it's the one that comes to, ha- to mind first, <laughs> which is I one time was back in my hometown for like the holidays, and I was uh, at a Meyer, which is a Michigan and Midwest only store, and uh, I saw somebody who I went to high school with, and we were like walking past each other, and we both looked up, and I could tell at the same time we were both looking at each other recognizing each other, realizing neither of us knew the other one's name, and then, like, putting our head back down. <laughs> like, it was, like, you know, like, right about to say a word. It, it, are either of us going to be able to remember the name? <laughs> and as we got closer, it's like, it's not going to happen. Neither of us are going to be able to pull it. And then we just, like, put our heads down and walked by each other. <laughs> yeah, grocery store interactions, definitely. I saw somebody at the Food for Less in an aisle that I wanted to go down, and so I changed my entire dinner plans and oh. just la- like I just couldn't even talk to them. Oh, oh, wait, you know what? I have one that's like that, too. I man, this is this was really weird. I was on a, a subway train back when I took public transportation in the before times and uh, sort of a friend of mine, someone who I would actually like to talk to, got on the same train as me, but I just wasn't really in a good headspace to talk to someone. So I actually got off the train and waited for the next one to come. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. I'm not trying. I'm because I I have I have an embarrassing situation on deck. I'm not trying to avoid, but I will say what you just said. I do that constantly, <laughs> and I definitely feel shame over it. But I don't think you should. Okay, I good. don't think. I personally think because there are times throughout the day where you don't want to you don't want to bump into somebody even if you even if you like them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can I can feel that <laughs> kind of, <laughs> uh, but I have to be talking at all times like a like an audible shark i have to be talking at all times or i die uh, <laughs> yeah. so that poor person who got on the tram be like hey what's up pal <laughs> i know you're talking to somebody else right now but talk to me <laughs> talk to me <laughs> can i make you laugh i want to say my i want to say the most embarrassing the, well i don't know if it's the most embarrassing moment for me but it's definitely something i think about like maybe like almost every day <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh it was a few years ago i was at um el chavo with some people from from work uh and um we were in you know like a cl- just a classic alt comedy bit circle oh, of, yeah. of, of, Riff of circle. men doing yeah. doing goofs <laughs> um and then uh my my buddy josh said uh hey i'm gonna go get a drink does anybody does anybody want anything? Um, or yeah, does anybody want to get a drink? And uh, or does anybody want a drink? And a normal person hears this and thinks, oh yeah, we'll both go to the bar, and and get a drink together. And I said, oh yeah, no, I'd love a ginger ale. Like, thinking, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there your waiter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he quietly he quietly muttered ginger ale to himself and just walked away. <laughs> and, and I never, and like I could tell it was because like he didn't want to make fun of me. <laughs> um, I sound like I'm about to cry, but I swear I'm not going to. Um, and, but it, it was, it, it was in that moment, it, it was so humiliating immediately. Like I, I, because I, nobody acknowledged it. Um, but it was just a very uh, autistic moment. <laughs> I, I have one that is similar to that that I actually this is kind of a cheat because I think I know this one. Uh, if not, I have a good one for you, Nate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was at a bar. And this is kind of a cheat because it was actually in the last classic episode that I uh, put re-listened to recently, and it is available for our patrons. But uh, for non-paying listeners, you'll hear it uh, now. But I was at a bar and I, um, I met somebody through a friend like we were in a group but i had never met this person before and i was waiting at the bar with him and he ordered a drink and i was still waiting on mine um and he goes oh this is really good this is like a this is like a fruity ipa or something uh and i was like oh really oh okay i'll have to think about what and he he goes to cheers me and walk back to our group so he points the 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 pint glass at me and without thinking i think he's offering me a sip even though i've never met this man 
And so I t- took both hands and I cupped, I clasped the, the pint glass with both hands and pulled it up to my lips and took a sip of his beer. <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, yo, I wasn't trying to get, give you a sip. I was just saying goodbye. I'll see you at the table. Uh. <laughs> and, and he, I have since seen this man a few times and he's never said another word to me. Whoa. That was the end of our relationship. <laughs> oh my god! I thought you were gonna say you cupped your hands and he like asked for him to pour the <laughs> Just drink. Pour in. a little in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what would you what was was that the one you were thinking of? Yes, what? I was thinking that. Actually, I just remembered one with you, Vera. The last time you were on this podcast, I think, uh, and then I'm gonna now make awkward again. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay, this is okay. Confession. It, you had just changed your name, but I wasn't sure if it was pronounced Hardy or Softy, Vera or Vera. But then I was afraid if I don't say your name, does I, do I seem transphobic? And then... <laughs> uh, uh, after, after, uh, after this podcast... Oh, I'm sorry you went through that. <laughs> I can respond... Either well, you know by now, either is fine. Oh, good, because <laughs> I just switch it every other time I say it. <laughs> uh, at Yo Yo Ma gives us uh, emptiest gesture. Did you see that Yo Yo Ma played a, a fifteen minute concert for the people who gave him his uh, vaccine this week? Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? <laughs> like, I'm so I am like so. He did it as like a thank you. Yeah, yeah. If you're working at a vaccination you, site, do you really like? Oh yeah, I really want to hear Yo Yo Ma play the cello for 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, and let's be honest. If you play classical music, 15 minutes isn't even one song. <laughs> like, yeah. He comes like, out halfway through a song. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Uh, if you want the rest of the Beethoven's Ninth, uh, it's behind the paywall. <laughs> Yeah, when I get vaccinated, I'm gonna thank I'm gonna thank the nurse by by doing a podcast for <laughs> fifteen minutes of a podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just pull out your phone and show the trailer for the People's Joker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, or or him. Boys can be nurses too. True. 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 Glad true. I true. Myself. Or them. Non-binaries can be nurses. Yeah, we can all be nurses. Yeah. No. We can all be nurses. You know what? We should record a song called We Can All Be Nurses as a thank you for nurses who definitely don't want that thank you. <laughs> we'll do one verse of a song, Yo-Yo Ma style. <laughs> Yo-Yo Ma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know it's, I'm sure it's recency bias, but when I read that today, I was just like, that is, that's worse than Gal Gadot's song. <laughs> like, I feel like that is the shittiest gesture of all of COVID. Yeah. It's yeah. like Yo-Yo Ma getting vaccinated, playing a fucking cello so that he can be in the news now so that he can, you know, be the first person to do a concert after vaccination. Like, Real quick, did Gal Gadot put together that song or was she just the first person who sings in it? Because I feel No, like it she was might- John Lennon who wrote that song, Dave. <laughs> She, okay. I'll, I'll actually, I'll actually answer your question, David. <laughs> okay. She put it together. Okay. She, she organized it. Okay. Because I was like, did she get thrown under the bus and everybody else just got forgotten about? Because, but if she organized it, then okay, fine. Uh, did, did you? I mean, I'm, this is like super duper dated, but I don't think I, I talked to either of you about it. But did, did you guys like Wonder Woman eighty four? I haven't seen it. I had a weird relationship with it because I enjoyed the middle of it a lot and thought it was like a good, like one of the better superhero movies. And the end is so bad on that movie that I just, I, yeah. I it's like one of my least favorite movies I've ever seen. The idea that everybody, it, it's almost just like, well, it's spoiler almost like, alert. Spoiler alert for Wonder Woman 1984. For this segment on Wonder Woman and DC Comics, along with an entire bonus episode and access to the Loose Lips viewing party of Justice League Snyder Cut, you'll have to join at patreon.com slash looselips. 